Make sure you download OneFootball. It's the best app to get all your latest football news and live updates. So welcome back to another episode of the Unbelievable and Funny Moments in Fever 19. This is the show where you guys send in your fails, your funny moments and other cool clips and we just take a look at them and uh, we just keep up with the current state of Fever 19. If you're new around here and you enjoy the episode, I suggest you subscribe. We do these sort of every week. And if you want to see other Fever 20 news and stuff, this is the channel for you. And uh, yeah, we're closing in on 100k. We've got about 4,000 to go, so I appreciate everyone subscribing. Let's start with the first submission. This one was from Axel, and it's a career mode thing. So I didn't know Russia became a club. So the Russian national team apparently in career mode can sell players. It's just another example of the news article getting it wrong, but it says FC Nant. I said it wrong the other day. If you watched an episode, I called him another word that I don't want to repeat again. But it says FC Nant or something, Nant, and Russia in Dzuba talks. Now, my pronunciation is bad, but you get what I mean. Now, it just gets even worse when you start reading the article. It says, FC Nantes are in talks with Russia over a possible bid for Dzuba. The striker from Russia has impressed in his time at his current club, and it's no surprise to see the talented 30-year-old linked with a move away from Russia. Now, get this. The Russian boss has vowed to keep his star players this season, but an attractive offer from potential buyers may make him think twice. Like, the Russian boss can't sell players to clubs. It just, it, it's impossible, EA. While fans have urged the manager not to cash in on the player, it will be hard for him to resist if <laughs> FC not Nets do decide to make an approach. Oh, this is, this is the pinnacle of news article gets a wrong, man. So when it came to career mode issues, I thought I saw it all until this clip popped up on my feed. This one was posted on Twitter by MN17i. Everything looks normal until he presses the accept button and the manager just goes flying up into the sky. It's like he had an eject seat button that he pressed and then he just got shot into Mars or something. I don't know where he's going, but that seat has some slingshot powers in it. Next up, we have a really funny clip sent in by Marcus and it's a dodgy animation. So everything looks normal. The Liverpool guy gets the ball, but then his left leg just goes in the air. He's, he's tearing his quads up. He, his legs are going in places where they should not be going. And then he starts flying in the air as well. I don't know what happened here, but it's just describing the current state of FIFA 19, man. Look at this animation. But then I love how his leg just comes back to normal after. He just dislocates every bone in his legs. <laughs> Every bone in his body, and then and then everything just goes back to normal. It's like, carry on, nothing happened. Now, I've noticed a rise in submissions for the Europa League scoreboard bug. So, if you didn't know what that was, it's basically when half of the scoreboard disappears when you're playing a Europa League game, and all you get is, a, is the timer. Sometimes the logo disappears as well. It just varies on how bad it is at the time. So, this one was sent in by Sohel19, and you can see there that uh, he doesn't know the score. All he knows is the time of the match. You know the state of the game is bad when even the scoreboards don't even want to show up to work anymore. Well, so What's the goalie doing, Tom? What's the goalie doing? Next up, we have the world-famous segment, What is the goalie doing? Everyone has a clip for this one, but today's featured one was sent in by Will. And take a look at this. Going forward well. well so What's the goalie doing, Tom? What's the goalie doing? So as you can see there, the keeper does a great save. To be fair to him, it was a great save. But then he just undoes all that hard work to make the save by just running into his own goal after he picks up the ball. What is the keeper doing? Next up, we have a clip sent in by Blake. And apparently he experienced a bug where he had two Donnarumma's on his lineup page. So let's take a look at his clip here. So as you can see, he's got two red cards, but both of them say Donnarumma. And he's flicking across the to different names. And, you know, the two Donnarumma's stay, but the other players are okay. And I didn't know this was possible. I've never experienced this one. I think I've seen this before, uh, but I, it's never happened to me. Now, I found this next clip on the FIFA Reddit. There's some quality clips on that page. You guys should check it out if you haven't already. You can get a good laugh or two just seeing all the crap that goes on in this game. But I had to bring this one to the episode because I thought, I thought it was fantastic. How does the ball defy the laws of physics in this game? Now, this clip was posted by user Omar509, and we'll take a look right now. As you can see, it's going to be a shot by Suarez with the left foot, and the ball is heading out, but then it passes the keeper and decides to have a turn of direction and goes into the back of the net. I've never seen anything like this, but I don't know if you call that scripting or something. Some people will call it scripting, but it's literally impossible to do that in real life. How is this game defying the laws of physics? So next up, we have the What's the Linesman Doing segment, and this clip was sent in by 7847AB, and take a look at this. So basically, the ball is rolling out, and um, the guy in the red actually takes a touch on it, 
So it would mean that the yellow team gets the ball for the throw-in, right? Because the ball went over the line after he touched it. But the linesman doesn't notice the little touch there. I don't know how you miss it. But <laughs> he, he lets the red team take the throw-in when it should have been the yellow team. So what's the linesman doing there? I don't think he was even looking as the ball went out, man. And this next clip was also sent in by Hosea Far. I think we've got another clip to look at from him as well. But this time it's called What Happened to the Goals? So let's take a look at his clip. You can see that the striker is attacking the keeper, but the, the bottom of the goal frames, you know those little post things that hold up the nets and stuff? You can see them spinning around, glitching out a bit as the ball goes in. There's no nets on the goal as well. I don't know what happened here, man. Next up, we have the players in their undies segment, and this photo was sent in by Hosea And you can see Messi right here. All he's got is his undies, and uh, he's got the socks on, the boots on. He's got some, like, arm thing. And then the torso basically is invisible. You can see straight through his body and you can see the advertising board behind him. But you can see his head at least. But how does this even happen, man? I'm not sure if this is like a mod or a, just a glitch that happens to certain people. And in this clip, you can see Messi with the ball running around the field and he's got an invisible torso. Look at that. You can see right through him. All you can see is his legs, his arms and his head. It's incredible stuff. Now, in FIFA 19, I haven't played one game online. Uh, that's partly because I don't own a PlayStation Plus subscription and the fact as well that I don't participate in Ultimate Team. But I can't believe the way these people play online. It's absolutely disgraceful that the game allows this kind of thing because I don't blame them, but they're just abusing mechanics, man. They're not really playing fair. I found this on the Reddit page for FIFA and it was posted by Bfizzle41 and he goes, I love players that try to play the proper football instead of abusing mechanics. So we're going to review the whole clip here. You can see that there's like a kickoff and the guy just does that that skill move. I don't even know what it's called because I, I'm not a skiller, but I think it's I think it's called La Croquette or something. I don't even know, but that's all he's doing, abusing that, going in and out of players. That players can't tackle him, and then he takes a shot, which goes out for a corner, and then with the corner, he does like a short pass, and the guy starts doing the same skill move again, all the way into the box. He attracts a foul, which gives him a penalty, and I'm guessing he scored from that. I don't know, but... How do people actually play this way? It looks like you're playing an ice skating game. This isn't ice skating, it's football. All you're doing is sliding left and right, left and right, all the way to the goals. How do you play that way? Just doing the same thing over and over again. I don't know, man. I, I don't blame these people. They want to win games, and the gameplay allows them to do these kinds of things. If you watch FIFA Competitive, all you see is those stupid crosses that go in all the time. Those uh, 360 no-scope finesse shots as well. They're just abusing mechanics, man, because this gameplay just allows them to, and you have no choice if you want to win as well. Next up, we have What's the Defender Doing? This clip was sent in by Armored, and the defender absolutely makes a mess of this. So, you know, there's a ball that goes towards the defender. He takes a touch, but he's running back towards his own goal. He fails to clear it. It comes off his body, and it goes into the back of the net. Now, the keeper should have came out and uh, took over and then just cleared it up the, up the field, you know. Instead, he backs off. He runs into his own goal as well. He got confused, and the defender makes an absolute mess of it, and uh, he couldn't make contact with the ball or something. He, he sort of did, but it came off his body after, and then it rolls in for an own goal. So next up, I'm going to show you a weird face bug that's been happening to Rob and Brendan. They showed me these uh, clips. So I think these images were sent in by Rob, and you can see Lukaku there. Where's his face gone? The, the game is so bad now that not even the player faces want to work properly. And I don't know who this guy is, but yeah, that looks pretty scary, actually. It looks like a cartoony sort of thing. And then this one is also like a, a video clip where he's gone around in the instant replay showing me all the faces. And you can see there, look at that. That is not Edison. I mean, there's something going wrong there. That looks like Belotti a bit. And then um, this one as well, Zinchenko. What happened to his face? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know what's going on, but the faces look really cartoony. Maybe you guys have experienced this as well. I haven't seen this before in my game, but apparently they were playing on Xbox One. So this was happening on Xbox because I, I wanted to know if this was like a mod or something. So apparently this was an issue on the Xbox. Next up, we have the What Do You Mean segment. This is based off the famous Justin Bieber song, What Do You Mean? First, you want to go left and you want to turn right. And uh, this is basically when uh, the manager or the players give confusing like advice or feedback, stuff like that, you know. This one was sent in by Hoofy. This was in the FIFA Reddit, actually. I found this one submitted there. And uh, it's basically Mesut Ozil sending three different emails in the spam of a day or two asking about his playtime. So the first email you get was on the 4th of January 2020, and Ozil's like, Hey boss, even though I'd like to play every match, I'd appreciate a rest, as I'm feeling a little bit jaded right now. So fair enough. And then the second email comes in on the 4th of the 1st as well, the same day, and it goes, Thanks for listening, boss. You're a good man. That's going to help me recharge for the rest of the season. So in the second email, he's like, You're okay. You're a good guy. Thanks for that. And then the day after, he does a mad heel turn, 
on the 5th, and he goes, I need first team action. A player of my ability isn't happy with the amount I'm being selected. And yeah, that's a big heel turn by Ozil, but a day before he was asking for rest, so the guy gives him a break, and then the day after he's like, no, I need more action elsewhere, I'm out. Of course, we have to end with the infamous throw-in glitch. I'm not sure why this is happening, but apparently a lot of people have been copying this issue. They've been sending clips in of this, and basically it's when a player goes through the motions of a throw-in, and the game sort of freezes up. You can't really do anything. And Mill sent this clip in, and he goes, uh, all I could do was turn off my PS4. None of the things were responding. All right, that's enough FIFA 19 for today. I've seen it all now. If you want to watch more episodes in the series, click the card in the middle. It'll take you to the playlist that you can watch all the episodes we've done so far on the channel. Also, subscribe if you're new for more episodes like this, and I'll see you next time.